All right, we're going to do a quick demo on key user extensibility in S4 HANA Cloud. I'm going to show how easy it is to use uh, key user extensibility. And in this demo, we're going to add a custom field to, a, to the sales order screen so users can enter data into a custom field. You'll see how easy this process is and why when we say key users, we're really talking about line of business user. So a lot of the key user extensibility in S4 HANA Cloud is now geared towards key users and is no longer an IT driven function. So here I am in the S4 HANA Cloud system. I'm just going to go ahead and, and click on custom fields app, which I've favorited, which is under the extensibility grouping normally. So in the application, I'm just going to click the plus to create a new uh, field. And I'm going to filter based on uh, the sales order or sales document. And we want the header level. So our custom field is going to track um, basically where the originating order was, was sourced from, how the end user found the, the website. So, you know, search engine like Google, word of mouth, uh, advertisement, and et cetera. So I'm going to pick this field and then click on uh, the label is going to be originating campaign and then for type you have the ability to enter the data type you can even tie it to a code list based on a CDS view you can associate it to a business object so that when the the user uh, goes into the field you can pull up data to um, show them from a custom business object which Probably in this case is what we would want to do, but I'm just going to use a free form text for the purposes of this demo. And we're going to permit 20 characters. So I'm going to go ahead and click on create. So the field will, will be created, but it's not published at this point. So now I have the ability here to select um, several things, basically where this field should be permitted to be used in the system. So I want this field to be able to be used on the, the managed sales orders application. And then I also can extend it to uh, some, some APIs as well. So we're going to enable the usage for these orders. Uh, you can see here, you can extend it down to other applications like managed sales orders, which is the classical um, web GUI screen, but for, for our purposes, we're just going to enable the, the sales order app V2, which is the application that I wanted to use. In addition, we could also extend it to the API. So for example, in our case, we may have an external system creating these orders. So I'm going to go ahead and extend it to the OData API for sales orders. Of course, I can also extend it to the web service API. So um, these would be, uh, this is the SOAP API for sales order book request in. And uh, another key point is you can extend it down to additional business context. What this means is you can extend this down to, for example, the delivery document as well as the, the billing document. So what this would do is extend this same field to appear on the delivery document and the invoice. So I'm going to go ahead and save the field. And then uh, in order for the field to be used, you need to publish it. So I'm going to click on publish. And then this will start the publishing process, which typically takes a, a few minutes. So we're going to let this field publish and come back. All right, now we're going to see that the field is published. It's been a few minutes and you'll notice that we have the field across all of the business context, so we can go ahead and enable it on UIs and APIs for billing document and delivery as well. But we're going to jump back to the home page and we're going to add the field on the sales order UI. So I'm going to drill into the Fury application manage sales orders. And I'm just going to open really any sales order because I, I want to just look at the sales order screen so I can adapt the UI through UI adaptation. So I just clicked on go to pull back all of the sales orders in the system. So this will take a second. I probably should have used the filter. So we'll give it a quick second here. 
All right, so I'm just going to pick uh, this sales order. And then when the sales order loads, uh, I'll see the header and partners and line item. So we're going to add this field to the header of the sales order. So I'm just going to come up here under Adapt UI. And now what will happen is, is I will enter into what is known as UI adaptation mode. So this is in the development system. It is role driven, so you need permissions to, or you need the proper roles in order to edit uh, these applications. And these changes are transported, so you're not doing this in production. So we're going to add our field to the basic data screen. So I'm just going to click here and under basic data and add field. And I'm going to search for my field, originating campaign. Going to click OK. And now the field has been added. So I'm going to move it over here actually um, under this column, originating campaign. I'm going to save my changes. And then I want to activate this new UI. Uh, we're going to call it originating campaign to give it a description of what we did. And then the new version has been activated. So now when I close out of UI adaptation mode, the Fury app itself will reload. And now I can go ahead and edit this field on an existing sales order or when I'm creating a new sales order, I will see this field for entry. So let's go ahead and edit this field on an existing order, this 38902 or 620. So click on edit. And then for originating campaign, I'm just going to enter uh, Google, or yeah, for where it was discovered, Google. Click save. Now I mentioned when we when we created the field, we extended it down to, to the APIs as well. So if we pop over to Postman, uh, which is an API testing tool, and we look at the metadata for sales order API, we should see our custom field. And here is the originating campaign. So now if I pull back the sales order, we just edit, edit it. Uh, I'm just going to filter on the sales order. We should see our field populated. Uh, filter sales order equal. I have a, oh, I need to put an underscore, not a dash. So a underscore sales order. Here we can see uh, down in the custom field section, originating campaign is set to Google. So hopefully you were able to see how easy it is to extend uh, the S4 HANA cloud system with a new custom field, quickly add it to Fury screens, APIs, CDS views. Uh, it really is just a few minutes of work for an end user or a power user. Uh, and it no longer requires a lengthy process of getting the IT developers involved, creating specs. Um, it, it truly is uh, key user driven. Hope you found today's session useful. Thank you.